Good morning. Well, I'm moored up just round the corner from Hanbury Junction on the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. Quite a nice spot, uh, relatively quiet. There is a train track just across the field here, but the trains stop quite early on in the evening. So I'm just looking at my map and I'm going through the Astwood locks today. There's six locks and I am joining Narrowboat Experience for the journey. And then we will moor up just to run after the, the six locks somewhere. We've already looked at mooring spots and the two girls walked up there yesterday to have a look around. So onward we go. It's dry today, even though it's been absolutely throwing it down with rain all night, it is dry today. So Molly and I are all packed and ready to go. really quite a nice bit of canal this. There are lots of mooring spots and it's set amongst lots and lots of pasture land. Now it's quite a long pound and that's quite good because you will build up enough enthusiasm and energy to start the six locks and then there's a short pound and then there's something 30 plus locks and I'll start to see the hills for um, how those locks go over the hill pretty soon. So this is the, the calm before the storm as it were. Just as you come up to lock 18 here, the smell of roses and the lovely scent in the air, even though they're wet, is just fantastic. It smells really nice. This is so funny because I don't think Kath is very experienced with dogs and she's not had many dogs in her life and I've just told Molly to get on their boat and she's like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> is this your new boat, Mol? New owner? Yep, we're best friends now. Good girl, look at you. Look how happy she is. Look how happy you are. This will be fun. It's not far. Why 
did we have to empty this lock behind us? I actually think it's because the um, lock house and the garden probably flood if the lock's full in weather like this. And any time actually because it's such a short pound. So I think that's probably the reason why. So we've taken our time with this lock because we did a bit of filming and we chatted to the locals. And poor Kath is probably huffing and puffing at the next one. And where's my lock keeper? She's got the chalk. And she's apparently got the chalk for the board, so she's probably going to give herself 10 extra points just from this one lock alone. I lifted a paddle, I put a paddle back down, I opened <laughs> half a gate, I closed half a gate. Yeah, and it's really good that you're covering this, Jono, or Mr. Journey, as he says I have to call him. It's really good that you're covering this because usually people only see the good side of Kat, and now they see the real side. I got off the boat and I was carrying my windlass, it's a point. The vindictive naughty side. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's good that you're seeing it and capturing it for all time. I know she doesn't have the camera though, so she won't be <laughs> yes. up at the lock going, they've left me, I have to do everything, they're just having their lunch. She can't actually do that because Anna Marie's got the camera, which is great. Yeah, even the ducks agreed. As you ascend Astwood Locks, to the west is the Droitwich Transmitting Station. Established in 1934, just outside the village of Witchbold, two 700-foot transmitters were built. Call sign 5GB was to broadcast the medium-wave BBC Midland programme, and call sign 5XX, the long-wave transmitter, was to broadcast the BBC National programme. A year earlier, however, the riggers forming the construction team had built up to 500 feet, but then argued their pay was insufficient and wanted higher danger money to work at 600 to 700 feet, and went on strike. These were the highest structures being built in the United Kingdom at the time, so there was no precedent to guide either the contractors or the men in fixing the rates. Construction finally continued after a maximum rate of four shillings a day was agreed when the full height was reached. Bright red lights illuminate the transmitters at night and locals have renamed the site the Devil Horns of Witchbold. had a really enjoyable time this last week. We've spent um, every day mooring up close together and it's just really nice to go on their boat and have a cup of coffee and have a chat. They've stood on here, they've looked into my front bedroom but I wouldn't allow them into the main living area because it's just too much of a state. But it's been really nice going out for meals and coffee shops and going for walks and things with them. I haven't really done the Molly sit and me drive off into the distance recently because I got quite a lot of flack from viewers saying I was bullying her and even though the fact that Molly absolutely loves it she can't wait until I do this come on gearbox how you don't have to lean down for it as well. Go on, put it in fast and see how... Go on, push. Push, push, push. Go on, push. Right there. Go on. <laughs> I'm not a thrill seeker. 
<laughs> but she's really nice. These short day journeys we've been doing are all in preparation for tardy big locks. In next week's vlog, we go up all 36 locks in one long, wet and tiring day. But before then, I'd like to thank Roddy Jenkins for his top-level Patreon support. Thanks, Roddy. Until next time, see you later.